Greetings, travelers. Welcome back to They Stole Max's Brain. And we're gonna get it back. We just got the rhinoplasty from the sign spinning gorilla. We are now gonna go back to the dark alley and talk to the uh, tourists. See if we can learn anything new. Ooh, a repeat performance. Let's run through it one more time and speak slowly. I'm an American. Yeah. As I said before, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. You know, back in Europe, I had so many warnings about your country's rats. But okay, what happened up. next? I was about to give him a tip for the help. Well, all of a sudden, the vet, at least I think it was better on the uh, Hurry up. up. Also, you know what else? I'm starting to feel You're lying. innocent with me, metric lover. The rat saw you pick up something after the fight. Now spill! Yeah, yeah, it's true. I took a souvenir from the fight. I didn't think anyone would notice. Here. Norrington. Norrington. Who the heck is Norrington? I don't know. I don't know. Just don't hurt me. You Americans are all animals. Animals. Okay. Norrington. The name rang fewer bells than a sleigh in July. Hopefully, it would be enough. Okay, Crime Tron, this is your last chance before I start looking for an upgrade. And it didn't. Okay, let's say, did it freeze? Come on, you obsolete hunk of junk. Talk! We're Skunk Ape. Sam, no! Stop holding out on me! Get away from her, you brute. Museum of Mostly Natural History. <clears throat> Finally. Audiences across the country say you're a monster, Sam. What have you become? The Museum of Mostly Natural History. The tarnished jewel of the city's once thriving museum district. Max and I always Asshole. need to visit. Nude bunnies. S and M club. Finally, gonna take in its neon sign. The educational displays <laughs> of the Avengers. Treasure of the Forgotten Pharaoh. Some muck. You know, you could have at least taped his head close. That way it's not, you know, flopping. All right, Skunk Ape. It's time to pay the piper. Plus tax and applicable service fees. Well, shit's happening. Oh, wow. I, I can move. It's a telltale trail of Grandpa Stinky's brain-preserving demon broth. Could Max's brain still be alive? Wait, what? I I wanted to look at the dinosaur Take statue. Take a look around after I track down Max's brain. Or I could just, you know, click on shit because I feel like it. Tapestry. Not now. I've got to find Max's brain. Fuck off. So you wanna wait? What? Bad ideas in transportation. Go to planetarium. Technological might, Necromancer. Blow it out your civil oh. line quarters, barbarian. Skunky. And paperweight? He's looking pretty spry for a 120-year-old. And there's the devil's toy box. And is that... Sam! Get me out of here. This whole place smells like gorilla and patchouli. 
The interloper who foiled my scheme to collect the toys of power and re-imprisoned me in the penal zone? Sam? The great-grandson of the poltroon who put the kibosh on my intricate plan to unleash yogg Sagoth and take over the world? I hate that guy. I hate that guy! Yes, yes! A common enemy. I propose an alliance. You get the galaxy, I get the Earth? Agreed! Nice going, Bubble Brain. Don't blame me. I'm still trying to find the volume controls on this thing. Guns <laughs> after him! Well... Sam? Ah, oh, man! Now I'm stuck in here with the alliance of C-list supervillains. Ah, it was way more fun when they were fighting. Now what? What? Oh! Return to Sam. Okay, so... Soon. Hey, bad guys! How about a little light show? It's getting boring in here. I'm afraid that tonight's performance of Mundane Objects in Space, A Cosmic Odyssey, has been cancelled, so that the Yeneler and I might use the projector to summon the scattered psychic toys from the four corners of the globe. Ah. Look at all those cool psychic toys! Am I doing that? Indeed, yes. Your psychic brain, melded to Monsieur Paperweight Sorcery and my super science, have created a techno-arcanic whirlpool, drawing the toys to this convenient container. So that explains the giant sucking sound in my head. <laughs> no, that's just you. <laughs> What is it? What are you and Corporal Buttcheeks here doing with the Devil's Toy Box anyway? We're unwinding and rewiring the synapses of your brain to cast a blasphemous net of tech necromancy across the reality so that the toys of power may be properly encased within the Devil's Toy Box. Ah, that's about what I thought. Really? Repeat what I just said. Blah, blah, blah. I've got a wonderful brain! Blargy, blargy. More toys for me! Pretty grubby joint you got here. It's one of the finest collections in the world. Our yogg Sogoth tapestry is one of a kind. Gee, it'd be a shame if Skunk Ape's minions ripped your tapestry to shreds and used it for space towelettes. You know, accidentally. Yeah, don't even think of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you and that big dumb ape Skunk Ape working together? General Skunkape and I have had a meeting of minds over our mutual loathing of you, your partner, and your forefathers. So that added up to what? One mind between you? I just hope his brain-dead minions can dispose of your partner without injuring any of my employees. How come you haven't aged a day since my great-grandpa kicked your demon-summoning butt back in the olden times? The horrible secret. My apparent immortality is too terrible to comprehend, and would surely drive an uninitiated mind such as yours to the brink of madness were I to utter it. So, Pilates then? Or just bad writing. Oh, I can see you again. What are you doing in this two-bit museum anyway? Since my defeat at the hands of your meddling ancestors, I've insinuated myself into the archaeological community, painstakingly gathering the requisite toys of power necessary to reopen a doorway between our world and the realm of yogg Sagoth. Nerd. You're a magical mumbo-jumbo guy, so maybe you can tell me. What's the deal with me having psychic powers all of a sudden? Am I going through the change? It's difficult to say. The only minds on this plane capable of wielding the toys of power are the insane, the simple, or the defective. Ha, <laughs> you've been reading my press kit. But encountering two special brains in the same bloodline is practically unheard of. Your lineage is most peculiar and dangerous. You should see us during holiday cookouts. <laughs> Did you try and stop your new buddy from zapping Sam with a banana-shaped ray gun or whatever? Why should I give a hell beast's hangnail about the fate of Summit's brood? Well, I, uh... <clears throat> Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> oh, this talking with my brain is making me tired. Let's talk later. <laughs> hey, skunk!
okay. Yes. Hello. What are you two scamps doing with the devil's toy box? We're tapping the nigh infinite power of your brain to create a bifurcated vortex of technological and arcane energies to impel the toys of power to return to their point of origin via a five-dimensional matrix of quantum foam and sympathetic magics. Yes, of course! You have no idea what I just said, do you? No, nope. but if it means more psychic toys for me, then vortex away! Your minions? I see you've got your old band of lackeys back together. Yes, yes. My mighty army is once again ready to take on the galaxy. At least they would be if Paperweight's filthy security guard wasn't underfoot. That disease-carrying insect had better keep his pestilent thorax away from my boys. Hmm. Why are you working with that creepy Paperweight guy? Monsieur Paperweight and I have reached an accommodation. Is that legally permitted in this state? I'm lending my scientific <laughs> prowess to his mystical efforts to draw the toys of power into the so-called Devil's Toy Box. That spell thing Paperweight's working on, it wouldn't have something to do with summoning an elder god by the name of Yog sagoth would it? Now that you mention it, Yog sagoths name did come up once or twice. He's certainly touchy about that precious tapestry of his. Yes. Hmm. So, long time no see. Long time? Yes, yes. If only you knew how long. It has been but a handful of Earth hours since you and your companion imprisoned me in the penal zone. <laughs> However, due to the temporal phase shifting of the zone, I experienced years of maddening nothingness during those fleeting hours. Ah, that would explain the tiny crow's feet around the eyes. <laughs> Not to mention that telltale old gorilla smell. <laughs> what are you doing here, anyway? The same thing I was doing all those years ago. Trying to take over Going the world. Tears? Gathering the toys of power so that I might conquer the galaxy. Now that you and Fezhead have stopped fighting, could you tell me how my brain ended up outside my sexy little body? I took it from you after I was suddenly ejected from the penal zone. How come I didn't notice? You appeared to be entranced by a primitive form of Earth entertainment. Around here, we call it a popcorn coma, big guy. <laughs> what are you planning to do with my brain once this whole Toys for Jerks drive is over? The same thing I planned to do before you yanked me into your ASAT's penal zone. Plug your brain into my ship's central computer and use your terrifying psychic powers to conquer the galaxy. Couldn't we just use them to cruise for chicks? The ladies love a good spoon bending. That's curious. My scans indicate you don't even like girls. Hmm. Could you try not to kill Sam? He's my designated driver whenever I'm in the sauce like this. <laughs> oh, my minions won't kill him. That's good. They're under strict orders to drag him beaten and bloodied to my feet so that he might witness my ascension to ruler of the galaxy. Just so long as he can still drive. Shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, could you go over there for a while? The way you're salivating over my anterior cortex is creeping me out, frankly. Very well. Okay. Okay, can I click on anything else? Let's go down. Can I? Yeah, this is much easier. The vortex calls. Ah. These two goofs are about as entertaining as public radio. Oh, I sure hope Sam survived the attack of the minions. I've got a lot of complaining to do. All right, let's see what he's got to do. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I know that Max's brain is still alive and kicking. I'll never get back in there while Skunk Ape and Paperweight are working together. Maybe I can break up those lovebirds from out here. Hmm, maybe. Let's find out. 
Somehow I doubt they're gonna lure in the jaded thugs of today with laser light shows. Not enough despinings to hold a young person's attention. Sure. That's interesting. Well, hello, young oh, Scott. Massachusetts. If I remember my field guide for otherworldly incursions correctly, that tentacle's a flagellum from the dark dimension. Okay. Do I have anything? Let's just try shooting it. Senseless vandalism has its place, but this isn't it. Okay, that's not doing anything. Coming soon, a brief history of bad ideas in transportation. I hope Max's brain and body are reunited by the time this exhibit opens. He loves tooling around in comically unviable vehicles. <laughs> Good thing Max isn't here. Edutainment sends him into an atavistic rage. Big fat faker. The real planet or big fat faker. Ha! <laughs> uh, mundane objects in space and cosmic odyssey. They were talking about that. It's too bad Max's mighty psychic brain isn't here. There's all sorts of new phone numbers on this courtesy phone. Hmm. I could learn a lot from this if I wasn't so offended by the choice of fonts. Hmm. Uh, enter Egypt exhibit? At 30, guided tour. So 1230? Normally, the code of the freelance policeman frowns on stealing ancient brains, but desperate times call for icky measures. Ew, Ew. it's warm and pulsing and wriggly. I don't know whether to be repulsed or use it as a neck massager. Ew. Sphinx. Ah, the Sphinx. I can almost smell it. Seriously, it smells like aspen here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, picture of the pyramids. The seven-sided pyramid of Hikaba was the crowning glory of Kestimpum the Tiny until it collapsed under its staggering weight and unorthodox design. Yeah. It's dioramas like this that make me appreciate the joys of central air conditioning, collective bargaining, and comfortable headwear. Sure. That was weird. I had no idea ancient Egypt was so madcap. If you're going to putrefy and decompose, might as well do it in style. It's like someone drew Look at statue. Hey, it's me. Give or take 4,000 years and a decent tailor. Ooh, pointy and dangerous. Two of my favorite things. Max would love to get his hands on this doohickey. Too bad he doesn't have any hands right now. Uh, can I have it? All right, well, I got what I needed from in here. Oh, yeah, hallway. Nope. Hey, you. Who, me? Don't get kid with me, wise guy. What are you doing in the museum after dark? What the I'm fuck? Saying, I'm with the Freelance Police. Freelance Police, eh? I heard a lot about you guys. A lot. I'm Sal, museum security guy. You must be looking into all the freaky shenanigans going on around here tonight, huh? Yeah. Well, feel free to poke around. But right now, you gotta do something about this pile of trash. That's not trash. That's my partner. Partner, trash, potato, potato. If it's not up and moving in the next few minutes, I'm tossing that smelly lump of guts into the incinerator. Incinerator? Yeesh. Um... I pretty much have an idea. To witness the final stage of the coming apocalypse, turn the hourglass. Okay. Is that Yogg Sagoth? Whoa, I did not see that coming. Okay. All right, well, I think I know what I need to do. Poyosaurus Henway. Full bone lever. <laughs> uh, 
Wow, he's not even doing anything. Um, this kind of reminds me of like a thing I saw on Tumblr, where it's like walks up, a uh, kid walks up to uh, uh, the museum from Night at the Museum, and he's like, "Sorry, kid, we're closed. Come back tomorrow." And he's like, and he's he just pulls out his backpack full of like, like anime characters and shit, or, like o a book of OCs, and he's like, "But I have to try." <laughs> I didn't say it as well, but I, I chuckled at that. Uh, what are you? Dog man, where do you think you're going? I'm uh, just looking for the snack foods exhibit. No one leaves here. It's Goncape's orders. Why? We're supposed to be on the lookout for uh, Sam. That's it, Sam. Are you Sam? No, my name is uh, Tyrone. Sam's that guy. Just we. I've arrived at the world famous museum of mostly natural history. And look, a cute little animatronic monkey. <laughs> Mahila to Skunkape. I've successfully neutralized the one known as Sam. Yes. Describe him. Pink, hairless, difficult to place accent. That's not Sam, you fool. Now don't bother me again until you find Sam. Apparently that uh, wasn't Sam. Oh well, uh, happy hunting. Thank you, Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I need to do. I just kind of want to, like, click around and, you know, figure out. Behold, the dread wonder of yogg Sagoth, overfiend of the Dark Dimension. Yeah. Well, I'm glad my great-grandpa stopped that transdimensional beauty from manifesting in the east side. Hmm. And what's over here? Museum of Mostly Natural History Guided Tour. Ah, an audio guide that attempts to make sense of the nonsensical museum displays. I should tape one of these for our office. Okay. It says it's an information desk, but I feel dumber just looking at it. <laughs> it's too bad Max is mighty psychic. Yeah. Alright, well... Let's do... Wait, what? Oh, tour controller. What? Okay, well, let's try... Nah. Okay, then let's try it. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, it's a Moai head. How's it hanging, big guy? Oh. Uh, Fine. Be that way. It's not one of the talking Moe heads. Inexplicable object of unknown provenance. Okay, well, let's try clicking on it. No, nope, don't think so. All right, well, let's go to the end of the world then. No, I can't even click on it. All right, well, let's just give Max's brain the Pharaoh. Maybe this carefully preserved gray matter will get Max's body moving, or at least twitching and drooling unnervingly. Hello, anybody in there? <gasps> oh, oh. Torment of Osiris will be laid upon your feet, heretics! The wrath of the... Uh, Anubis! Nah, but I get that a lot. I'm Sam. Oh. My, a new body, and it's so energetic. That's probably one of Max's sugar rushes. You'll just want to ride him out until you get used to him. Well, I suppose you want some sort of tedious boon in return for rescuing our spirit from the shadowy realms, yes? Well, if it's not too much I'm trouble, liking Majesty, this character. I could use some help retrieving Max's brain from a couple of world-conquering Nimrods. I believe we can aid you in your quest. But where will my brain go after we've restored this Max? Hmm. Well, if everything goes as planned, I suppose you can take your pick between an ethnic sorcerer and a super-powered space gorilla. A gorilla? <gasps> that does sound promising. Very well, we shall grant your boon. It shouldn't be too much trouble with all these toys of the gods secreted in this fuzzy little body. Toys of the gods? Do you have the gift? Is that what they're calling it these days? My people always called it the Curse of Horus. Ungrateful wretches. Hey, if you've got creepy brain powers, this rescue's gonna be a walk in the park. 
ready to roll? Lead on, barbarian. Okay, I'm already really liking this character. Like, she's got a good voice. Alright, so what happened if I pull this again? Rawr. So, let's try... That won't work. Nah. Eh. Alright. Let's talk to the Pharaoh. Your Highness? Yes. How'd a kid like you get to become Pharaoh? Did your daddy Pharaoh die when you were young? Oh no, our dad was a sandal maker. We became Pharaoh after we stumbled upon the toys of the gods while stealing coins from a tomb. The toys awakened latent abilities within us, granting us the power to cast the royal family into the Nile and reshape the entire kingdom in our now divine image. Now there's a heartwarming rags to riches story. If the toys made you so powerful, how'd you end up as a pickled brain in a jar? During our reign, there were always a few troublemakers who, impervious to our divine powers, rebelled against our benevolent but firm dictates. We suspect one of them finally snuck past our defenses. Hmm. Hold any grudges? Sam, that's all in the past. Even if we did hold an eternal grudge against the mystery assassins who deposed us all those centuries ago, it's not as if we can do anything about it now, right? Oh, right. Yeah, so, what now? I'm not sure what I should be doing now. What do you want us to do about it? Max usually has some sort of obliquely helpful hint in situations like this. And that's how you go about solving crimes? I know. Freaky, isn't it? Hmm. Any ideas? I'm certain these gloomy halls have more tales to tell. Let us plumb their crannies. That should be easy. My first gig out of high school was cranny plumbing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I got nothing. Perhaps the essence thief may be of use. You mean the rhinoplasty toy? I mean the essence thief. Villains. I've got to find a way past Cosmic Gorilla I forgot she and Dr. Strange accent. Duh. Early in our reign, we found out that a minor vizier and a captain of the guard were conspiring against us. We could have wiped them out with a thought, but it amused us to turn them against each other instead. So, do you like it here? So, your highness, you impressed by the 21st century yet? Oh, most definitely. Though we do feel a bit out of our element. Don't worry. Once we teach you a few crude gestures and get rid of the whole talking in the plural thing, you'll fit right in. Entertainment. After all this is over, we'll all head to Broadway and take in a show. Oh, bread and circuses! Are there gladiator fights? Actually, it's mostly a bunch of people dressed up as cats singing about wanting to break loose, and then a chandelier falls on them. Oh my god, so much talk! How did stay alive all these years anyway? Before our death, we left strict instructions with our viziers to pickle our brain in a special solution of crocodile tears and ground ibis beaks. And that kept your brain alive? Don't be ridiculous. It was our special gift that kept our brain alive. Duh. Alright. Let's roll. Aha! Uh -huh. We shall roll like a wheel, yes? You sure know your obscure cultural references, your majesty. Roll! Roll onward! Whoa! Little Miss Teleporter! Ah, uh, the arrow of power! But where is the disk of madness? Or the orb of unending bounciness? We uh, haven't found them yet. But here, take a gander at this. Ah, the wondrous essence thief! How well I remember disguising myself as a palm frond to observe the forbidden rituals at the temple of adolescence. You tyrannical scamp. Wow, so sh she's a voyeur. Okay then. Let's uh Let's check out some of these things. So I have found no one's phone number yet. So no reason to use that. Or we could, you know, not exit. So 
Okay, so I can't click on that. Nope. The tapestry. Oh, the subhumanity. Why will you say that? Since we're in a museum, I assume it'll be some sort of obscure historical reference. Okay, so I gotta find a way to start that on fire. Hey, Max, check this out. It turns out that Lady Godiva was a dude. Ooh, icky. Well, either I managed to return Max's brain to his body in the future, or you're destined to learn a killer Max impression. Let's move on. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this guy. Hey, ouch! My thorax! My beautiful thorax! Poor dude! Ouch. Who'd want to pummel a nice bug guy like Sal? Aw, don't hurt Sal! Oh, oh, I, I can't stop. Back out! No, oh, back out! It won't stop moving! Alright, we're gonna real quick go over here. And we're going to do this from here. And we're going to do the future vision. Most likely on him. Oh, yes it is him. Is there anything else nearby? The rhinoplasty, which obvious. Can't do anything with that. The bug. And yeah, so just the guard. What in the name of Gorgar? In my experience, it's rarely a good idea to poke a space gorilla in the eyes. That's what lackeys are for, Sam. Okay, um... Let's... Okay. Right-click to back out. I'm going to... Try it out, look around for something selectable. Ah! Ah! Okay, so we're gonna go to Sam. And we're going to go to two things. We're gonna try you. Let's Canis read this erectus. first. This freakish tooth, dating from the late Fumerian era, is thought to represent an evolutionary dead end of heavyset man-dog hybrids. Oh, Anubis will not be happy with this insult to his girth. Well, let's, uh, let's fix that, why don't we? Now that the Pharaoh has an image of the rhinoplasty, you can turn the object, you can select the lump of rhinoplasty to activate the shape shifting power. How droll, a talking skull. I'm sure that will be useful. Okay, well, let's talk to him then. Sal! Keep it down, will ya? This is a museum, not a locker room. Hey, see you got your pal up and about. Kneel before your pharaoh, peasant. He's still a little punchy. Headphones. Nice headphones. Listening to the game? Or maybe some Black Flag? Now, these are my official museum guard emergency headphones. I gotta wear these so that Mr. Paperweight can tell me where to go in case of a security emergency. Of course, I haven't heard from him in a while. He must be busy up there with that space gorilla guy. Ah, okay. Don't look now, but there's a scandalously clad intergalactic despot running roughshod through your museum. You mean General Skunkape? He's an A1 buttwad, all right. But what are you gonna do? Mr. Paperweight's rolled out the red carpet for him and his minions. Don't you think you should alert the authorities? What? Lose my job? Hmm. How's life with Skunk Ape? Skunk Ape. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that. Not so bad. Aside from the big gorilla over there guarding the door, most of these apes just hang out in the planetarium. Hmm. More Skunk Ape stuff. Which was all the apes running around? Beats me. Mr. Paperweight told me to steer clear of him. So that's what I'm gonna do. Your lack of independent thought pleases us. Right back at you, little guy. <laughs> Any idea what that paperweight loser is doing in the planetarium? Hey, don't be calling Mr. Paperweight a loser. 
He's a stand-up guy who took me in and gave me a job. He's not here, you know. Nah, I got no idea what that loser's up to. <laughs> Heck, I can't even understand half the things he tells me over the headphones. Well... Your boss is gathering demonic toys for a nefarious purpose. Toys, eh? And what do you want me to do about it? Call the army, the navy, the Swiss guard. You want me to turn on my boss? Dream on, buddy. This is a pretty cushy job here. And I ain't messing it up over a bunch of demonic toys. Your loyalty is commendable, Surf. I think you should apologize for threatening to incinerate my obviously alive buddy here. No offense, pal. I was just following orders. Ooh, we love it when servants say that. Hmm. I'm... I don't know why I really like this so, character. Why is that name so familiar? Wait a minute. Stinkies used to have a fry cook named Sal. Yep, that'd be me. A six-foot-tall cockroach working at Stinkies? That's shocking. No, wait. What's that thing that's the complete opposite of shocking? <laughs> Completely obvious. So why did Grandpa Stinky fire you? I mean, aside from the whole disease-carrying vermin thing. He, uh, didn't approve of a cockroach in the kitchen. That's strange. Grandpa Stinky never had problems with cockroaches before. Hmm. Alright, let's... See ya, Sal. Be careful out there, Sam. This place is cuckoo tonight. I like... I'm loving the characters that are being introduced in this episode. Alright. I'm not sure what we need to do next, but we've done enough talking with people. We turned her into a skull. There's another thing we can turn her into up here. Let's see what that is real quick. Or, I think there was something up here, right? Well, oh, it was this. Hindenburg. Although the Hindenburg met its fiery demise in 1937, its sister ship, the Aeroschwein, is still in operation today and was a stunt double in the 1968 musical Let's All Go for a Ride in My Beautiful Balloon. That looks like one of the balloons my magicians would create with inflated sheep's bladders. You really know how to kill a conversation, Your Majesty. All right, well, next episode, we're going to figure out what that Hindenburg does. So until then, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.